Hey, a pleasant good evening, everyone. This is Sportsman News. I'm Joe Bork. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below or on the easy-to-use widget up above at the end of the video. This is going to be the next edition of the Royal Take. As we look at our Reading Royals taking on the new team, the 1-3 Trace Rivieres Lions. I'm sorry if I mispronounced um, their team name since it is the new team. I don't have the experience being able to say their team name. So, obviously, that's something I will work on over time. But again, this is a new team for the Reading Royals as they're going to have to go up against this Trace Rivieres Lion for the first time and see how they fare against this team who their goal scored is seven this far this season. Their goals against is three in four games played. And then they've been on 18 power plays and only scored one goal. Their penalty kill, though, their penalty kill opportunities, it says they've been on 14 and killed all 14. So they've been doing good on the defensive front when it comes to the penalty kill. They just haven't been doing good when it comes to that. And then if I take them to Reading, since you can do the comparison stuff on the ECHL website for people that didn't know that, let me go to our Reading Royals here. If I compare them to us, it has our goal scored is 14, theirs is 7. We didn't have any shootouts either. Short-handed goals, they have won. Redding has none yet. They have a 6% on the power play. Redding still isn't great, but we have a 25% on the power play. Their penalty kill percentage is the only thing better than our Redding Royals. Like I said, that's 100% right now. Redding's at 60, which is still pretty good. So, basically, that's just a long way of saying our Redding Royals are the better team on paper and are the team... It should be able to come out and have an effective game against the Trace Rivieres Lions, even away, because this team still looks like they're trying to rightfully so get their footing and kind of figure out what they're going to be as a team when it comes to uh, being in the ECHL. It's their first season. They're still kind of getting into the groove of things, and that is exactly what the Reading Royals have to take advantage of. They're the better goal output team. They're also the better in terms of overall defense, defensive team, yes, that team's 14 for 14 on their PK, but they have allowed goals against in order to give them only that 25% um, win percentage. So you're going to have to take advantage of that. You're going to have to push the ante, and you're going to have to get up the ice and play aggressive against this new team, the Trace Riviere Lions, and be a team that just really pushes like we did in the couple games against Norfolk and kind of gets the offense really going via that Winquist, ridiculous Winquist, Bashkoff, and um, Matthew Strom line where Winquist and Bashkoff are tied at five points and Matthew Strom is tied for really second in the league um, when it comes to that with seven points where Bashkoff and Winquist are technically then tied with a million people for fourth in the league. Uh, with five points, and then third is a bunch of people that are tied for six, with six points. So, we have a line that is kicking butt. We have a team that's really playing well early on this season in our Reading Royals, and that's something we're going to have to continue to see. You're not going to be able to play it in and say, this is a new team, they haven't started off that good. You can never come up to an opponent with a lesser feeling on your face, but, and in your mind, but... With this game and with this team, I would say when it comes to it, you've just been having the dominance of Boschkov. You're having the dominance of uh, Winquist, but another guy that's looked very sharp is Pritchard, the the veteran, the beautiful fan lover of Frank. The Charas look good as well. Brandon Lau, to me, Olo, is a guy that just does everything right. He does the simple plays. He gets the nice poke checks and four checks and all that and keeps the play. He, you even see him sometimes at the blue line stopping the guys from getting into the zone. I like those players that do all the small things right. So this team does have exactly what you would want <clears throat> um, in order for players to do all the small things right. And that is exactly what you need in order to get W's on the board. Um, when it comes to when it comes to being a team like the Reading Royals, we got Pat Nagel. He was one for one on the weekend. I don't think he expected to play backup game, back to back games, excuse me, this quickly into the season. And he did, and he stepped up, and he did great. So now, all we have to do when it comes to the Trace Rivieres Lions is just watch 
their team and not take them for granted. They're a team that still has some good players on their team, albeit they're not looking all too sharp as a whole right now. But they're a team you can't take for granted as you can't take any team for granted where if we scroll down, it takes you a while to get to anybody on Trace Rivieres for the points totals in the league as they don't even come up yet when I'm all the way down here. So yeah, like I said, their offensive output isn't there. Their defense has been sharper this year, 14 for 14 on the penalty kill. So as the Reading Royals can continue to put the goal output and look like they have on offense as they have early on, there's no reason for me to believe that they cannot beat the Trace Rivieres Lions this weekend and take it to them and just have a very good, effective <clears throat> weekend against this newly formed ECHL team. So this has been a preview to the Reading Royals weekend as they're going to be taking on the Trace Rivieres Lions. As this is going to be a two for two, we got Friday, which is at seven tonight, and then three p.m. tomorrow, which is still at Trace Rivieres before the Reading Royals come back next week. That a game I'll be covering again for Flyers Nitty Gritty. Check them out, linked in the bio down here, and also check out my Sports Fanatic News Facebook page if you want to see all my videos posted in real time. That'll be linked down here as well. But this has been a preview to the weekend affair as we take them on tonight in about ten minutes and tomorrow against the Trace Rivieres lines. Peace out, everybody, and let's go Reading Royals.